Hello guys, welcome to another video. Right, action cams. This is the action cam I use on the beach. Uh, I thought it was a Sony AS HD. Oh, I don't know. what's the numbers? Uh, I don't know. Let me get my glasses on. Let me get my glasses on. I can't see bugger all. I'm blind as a bat. There we go. There we go. I'll put my glasses on. Okay. This is a Sony HDR AS15, right? <coughs> Excuse me. I've had this for a lot of years. Now it comes in a waterproof case, as you can see. Uh, the handle doesn't come with it. This is something I've added on. I was trying it out yesterday. So we'll take the handle off. Take the handle off. Get that out of the way. That's an extra. Now, when you get this, it's in a waterproof case, right? This front here is something I made because if you've got the waterproof case. Um, with the, the front that they give you this is not what they give you this is an homemade thing I made I have a bit of pair specs that are shaped I'll bring it a bit closer to the camera so you can see it so what I did was I basically cut a bit of pair specs out I bought a lens protector uh, I cut the hole so it would screw in like that and it, it basically they stop the wind noise or a lot of it ok so that's what I did because I wanted to be able to wear sound on it right while well, i was recording if you use it if you use it with the um with a waterproof case with the actual waterproof front on your sound will be muffled right pretty badly anyway this case is old i've repaired it a couple of times you can see it's been through the wars i've probably had this camera five years something like that but the, the main thing is protect your lens right because if the lens gets damaged it's pointless doing anything else right you might as well bin it Okay, so so what I've done, this is my idea, okay, we've got this. Now you can buy a lens protector, there's different models of this now. I'm not sure if the diameter around here though, uh, around the lens, is the same on them all. I've no idea, I'd have to check. But um, what I've bought, I've been on eBay, right, because you can get an actual lens protector that uh, Sony do, and I believe it's about £25, uh, or oh, somewhere I had forty dollars. I don't. I don't know. But anyway, it was somewhere around there. It's quite expensive, I think. But then, if it protects your camera, I suppose it isn't. But me being me and being quite thrifty, I've been on the internet and I've been on the uh, auction site, eBay, and I've bought this. Um, it's a thirty-seven millimeter. It's got a UV filter on that. I don't know if you can see that. You could change that though. It's got a lens protector cap on there which will take off a lot. And you can also unscrew the protective lens off the front like so. So you could change them for something else if you wanted to buy some more. But what I want to do is this. I want to get this to fit onto here. Now as you can see, hopefully, that's not going to happen. It's too... It's too... Uh, this is too narrow to fit over the lens of the camera I do not want to damage the camera I do not want to damage the camera in any way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Dremel which I've got here I might change the bit that's on my Dremel and I'm actually going to grind out the inside of this here right I'm going to keep going round let me just show you that from that angle I'm going to keep going round and round and round inside there till I get that to fit onto the camera okay uh, I might show you a bit of footage of me doing that I might just cut the video and show you me where I'm getting up to but Okay, I'll crack on. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So if you want to watch, watch. And if you don't want to watch, okay, thanks for watching. See you soon. Yeah. Okay, then. I'm going to let you into a secret, right? That's getting pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> all right so that's basically what i'm doing you can see i'm uh oh yeah it's pretty warm that i'll keep going at it i'm thinning it out i don't know how thin i'll be able to go i'm trying not to damage this so it can't be not used but that's what we're doing okay i don't know if that's focusing okay guys so what i've been doing i've been going round and round and round in here with my dremel it took a long time it took me maybe an hour because I've been doing it pretty steady. I'm not clicking big chunks out. I've caused a little bit of damage to the uh, the dark blackness on here. The paint. But anyway, this is where we're up to, look. Here's my camera, which I showed you before. It won't go anywhere near it. Well, now, can you see that? 
I've actually got it to go onto it. Now I think it needs a tiny, tiny bit more metal taking off this, but um, I don't know how much. I don't know how much. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to make it so it's loose. I don't want to have to glue this fitting onto my camera. I don't want to cam damage my camera in any way. So what I'm hoping for eventually, and I don't know if this will will do it, is something like that. So I can make myself it sit in the case uh, with a protective lens cover on. Um, that's what I'm hoping for. So that's where we're up to. When I'm totally finished, I'll put the uh, the end result up. But that's where we're up to. Uh, these, um, excuse me, I just took that off there a lot. These uh, lens protectors, I don't know what they are, I don't know what they're called. They cost about £2 off eBay, um, which is a couple of dollars. If you're willing to have a go and do something for yourself, I think this is a good idea. But hey, we'll see. Okay, guys. I've taken a little bit more off and I've actually got it to go nice and snug. I hope you can see that. Um, that's what it looks like. It's it's on pretty tight. I've pushed it on. It wouldn't come off. That would be a really good protector. Uh, I'll hit the record button a lot. So hopefully I'm recording this camera, recording me, recording you. Uh, yeah. There you go. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's pretty good.